This is the return of the blessed knowledge. The Cave of Hira, the city of Mecca. The first words of the Quran being revealed. And within 25 years of that day, the enlightened message spread to the far corners of the Arabian Peninsula. And it did not stop at the deserts of Arabia. It soon took on the Persian and Byzantine empires, and the message spread until it read nearly half the known world of that time. The Muslim Caliphate reigned over all of the Middle East, Northern Africa, parts of the Indian subcontinent, and even parts of Spain, known to us as Al-Andalus. With it came the golden age of knowledge. The schools, libraries, and universities of Muslims produced all sorts of people, the Islamic and the scientific knowledge was imparted under one roof, thus showcasing the ideal education system for humanity that combined the realization of Allah's supremacy and the physical manifestations of his power in the form of sciences, physics, astronomy, chemistry, and medicine. History tells that it was these educational institutes of religious and contemporary education that gave mankind Al-Khawarizmi, the Muslim mathematician from Baghdad who gave the world algebra and principles of arithmetic. His most prominent area of expertise was the solution of everyday problems by mathematical methods using variables. Jabir bin Hayyan, the famous alchemist of the Middle Ages, he wrote more than a hundred books on various topics, especially chemistry and alchemy. One of his most important contributions was the preparation of hydrochloric and nitric acids. Ibn Haytham of Basra, who has 200 books to his credit on topics ranging from mathematics, mechanics, optics, and theology. The man who discovered that the human eye detected light, not emitted, as was widely believed. Al Biruni, the famous scientist come traveler, widely known for his works on trigonometry, geography, and history of India, and numerous other names who contributed priceless pearls of knowledge and wisdom during the golden era of Islamic civilization, when the rest of the world was reeling in the dark ages. As centuries went by, the Muslims became weak politically and religiously, which affected the education system enormously. What were once centers of knowledge and research were left ruined and deserted. In these unfortunate times around the 90th and 20th centuries, something somehow went wrong. In search of progress and prosperity, the once great Muslim nation embraced the West in all its entirety, never realizing our progress and development lies somewhere else. Allahu Akbar Allah It is the deen that the scholars and the scientists held on to for any hope of progress even in the worldly perspective the education system based on the principles of the west was adopted by a majority of muslim nations thus erasing our own identity and culture of being the pioneers of knowledge and research in all sorts of sciences. The Muslims, who were once sources of knowledge for researchers and scholars from all over the world, ended up being mere employees in the developed countries, thus setting a textbook example of brain drain. The Muslim nation needed an educational system based upon the principles of our glorious past. 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted this golden opportunity to the Muslims of Pakistan to become the pioneers in reviving the spirit of the glorious education system. Among other ventures in Pakistan, one that stands out for its Puritan ideology and high standard scientific education is the Department of Contemporary Education in the Educational Institutes of Baitul Salam. Baitul Salam offers religious education including hifz quran and Arabic medium alim course and a subsidiary Baitul Salam Educational Foundation covers the school partnership program, youth club and other educational activities such as teacher training and student exchange programs. The department blends contemporary education in the form of O levels with the environment based on our Islamic and cultural foundations. Students admitted in the department undergo a four-year course starting from basic English to the completion of O-level in the elective subjects of physics, chemistry, and biology. They told him you are crazy, who are you striving for? They told him there is nothing what you're looking for. Stop doing what you're doing, cause there is no hope. Just come with me, I show you what's behind my door And I show them one kind of light Their eyes will walk, yes they were mesmerized But deep inside they know that there is a better world Cause I'm bad to Salah I'm bad to Salah I'm bad to Salah Cause I'm bad to Salah with the establishment of Blatu, tech learning has been taken to the next level. Students are now involved in basic robotics, programming, and media software for graphic designing, audio production, and motion graphics. Students participate in various events competing with top schools in different cities of Pakistan, in addition to hosting a set of competitions at the campus by the name of Baitul Salam Olympiad. And all of this is not because of the facilities available to the students, not because of the academics of the teachers, and not the curriculum followed. It is something that comes from within. Iman. Indeed, spiritual environment of Quran and Iman strengthens their abilities in all fields. When it comes to extracurricular activities, the department takes pride in extensive avenues for students who are divided into four houses, each of which has its own distinct culture and specialities. They are Khalid, Qasim, Babar, and Salahuddin. Go and answer the call, preach and now call them all It is no time to rest, speak to their souls and gather your tribes Go and answer the call, preach and now call them all It is no time to rest, speak to their souls and gather your tribes Beth Islam send and is send and demands that you worship the one whom besides there is none Beth Islam send and is send and demands that you worship the one whom besides there is none We are the grandsons of men who gave all that they can to rule all of the land with the law of Islam We are the grandsons of men who gave all that they can to rule all of the land with the law of Islam Go and answer the call, preach and now call them all It is no time to rise, speak to their souls and gather your tribes Go and answer the call, preach and now call them all It is no time to rise, speak to their souls and gather your tribes Holding up the flag high and seeking paradise Oh my brother says from victory won't be long Holding up the flag high and seeking paradise Oh my brother says from victory won't be long Together we will stand up one street with a madman Who answered the call illuminating the world Together we will stand up one street with a madman Who answered the call illuminating the world Go and answer the call preach and now call them all It is no time to rise speak to their souls and gather your trust Go and answer the call preach and now call Call them all, it is not time to rise, speak to their souls and gather your tribes. Through our sweat comes success and we'll give it our best to remove this belief from their hearts. We should preach them Islam. Through our sweat comes success and we'll give it our best to remove this belief from their hearts. We should preach them Islam. Jamia so Bad Islam Talagan and they're the doing the push-up. By the will of Allah, we should enlighten the world. So my brothers wake up, let 
the world no we by the will of Allah we shouldn't let them do it Go and answer the call, preach and now call them all It is now time to rest, speak to their souls and gather your tribes Go and answer the call, preach and now call them all It is now time to rest, speak to their souls and gather your tribes Indeed, the students' minds here are instilled with the spirit to answer the call Answer the call for the sake of Allah for the sake of the Muslim Ummah, for the sake of our country, Pakistan, and by the will of Allah, the return of the blessed knowledge, learning and education shall lead to the return of the past glory. Stay strong my brothers, obey the orders. Allah is with us.